my god, much better. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. As we are looking at Spirit Spiritfarer. And this is the Feywell edition. So this has got all of the previous editions, including the very last update. And uh, a little bit about this game. It's a cozy management game about dying. So you're basically a fairy master to the deceased, which is a spirit fairy, and you boat, you build a boat to explore the world and befriend and care for spirits before finally releasing them into the afterlife. So you farm, mine, fish, harvest, cook and craft your way across mystical seas. Okay, awesome. This is also a two-player co-op. Uh, co game so if you want to play with somebody then you can be de you can be uh, daffodil the cat well this is pretty cool spend relaxing quality time with your spirit passengers create lasting memories and ultimately learn how to say goodbye to your chosen friends okay well, let's get into it i'm mm, quite curious I don't know how often we can save, but I'll try and keep the episode to about an hour. to do something oh, there we go i thought for a second you would never wake up little one how ironic that would have been would it not <laughs> i'm sharon the spirit fairer well that is what i have been until your arrival i cannot say that i'm sad to leave but i still had a few things left to do here I'm afraid you will have to pick up things where I left them. It is, after all, my very last day. And you are... Stella. Stella. Welcome, Stella. I see you have brought a friend here with you. What's his name? Daffodil. You see? You two will share the burden then. And take it over from me. As I said, in a few minutes, I will be gone from this world. And that is why you are here. You will be the new spirit fairer. I love the hat. Your task here will be far from easy, but simple nonetheless. They fetch the stray spirits stranded on the island. And when they are ready, bring them back here. Dying souls can't pass away on their own. You'll have to help them fulfill their last request and be at their service until their last breath. The big grand bridge over there is the Evador. The Alpha where everything starts, the Omega where everything ends. This is where all quests get, their com get completed and where existence meets its thres threshold. Ooh, English. There is no task more important than this one. Never forget this. Yeah, there is something I need to give you. Stick. A light. Okay. Now be really careful with it. It is the ever light. Symbol of your status here and the only tool you will ever need. Wait, what are, what are you? Okay. <laughs> So rummaging around in there. Oh, how highly inappropriate. Right? <laughs> well, 
that settles it. While she went and fetched her own ball. The evil light will help you throughout your travels. It will be the light that shines in the darkness. The last remaining hope of the departed. You. Shiny. Hope is a flame, the light that never falters, the beacon of eternity. It is heavy and inconvenient, but there is no greater duty than this one. The fate of lost souls rests on your shoulders. Look, I was overwhelmed too at first. Just try to keep your focus. Take it one step at a time. You will soon get used to this place. Custom to these moments, you are the new spirit fairers after all. Okay. Once I'm gone, you will have to find a ship of your own. Mine is not suited for you and it will fade away once I'm gone. You might find one not too far from here. You keep rowing in the right direction for some time. And if I keep on in the wrong direction? <laughs> Probably. It's time. Here I go. So long, Stella. And good luck. You will need it. Bye. Okay. So. Oh, we've got a pedal. Nice. What a boat. What's wrong with this boat? I like the cat in the corner there. That's cute. Oh, this is beautiful. Absolutely love the art style. Okay. So it's a platform. Ah. Oh, okay. Right here, hold S and spacebar. Ah. E to interact with a glowing outline. Stella. It really is you. Stand up straight and let me get a look at you. You look good, and Daffle is, Bill is here too, I see. We have to find a lint roller then. Hmm. Ah, I might not be that obvious after all. It's me, Gwen. Good thing you found me. But if you, you're you here, it means ooh, you are the new spirit. Bear. You are the one replacing Sharon. I was trying to get rid of him and only ended up here by accident. I've been stuck on this disgusting island for about a week, living off sardines and cigarettes. Mm -hmm. Funny how I used to be the one getting you out of trouble before. I can see you have an ever light now. Mm -hmm. Of course. See that boat over there? No? Where? Ooh, that's a nice boat. The ship. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Mm -hmm. It's obviously slightly shabby. Let's come and do it. I'd wager it all works since you're the spirit fair. Okay, meet me at the deck over there. I'll explain it all. Okay. Sure. Uh, oopsie. Um, can I jump? Can I swim? Oh, okay, cool. The cat walks on the water. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hello, birdie. Mm. Okay, here goes. I hope my fur coat won't be too damaged. She's a deer. Oh dear. Oh, she's pretty. Wonderful. 
I'm not one to jump for joy, but this feels good. Much better than I anticipated. Mm -hmm. So, the way I see it, this boat is yours now. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. Good. And as you're the spirit fairer, welcoming stray spirits is your new job. And once aboard, they will assume their true forms. Mm -hmm. Well, it's my theory anyway. Why are you looking at me? Like a little bit of that. <laughs> Why are you looking me at me like that? Mm. You need to come here and give me a hug. Okay. Talk. Food hug. Mm. There you go. Mm. Oh, that's cute. Much better. Come with me now. Let's take a look at this chaos. Optimistic about the new journey, was recently hugged. Okay, interesting. Uh, there's no items available. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, what's this? Uh, I can sit on it. <laughs> oh no! Mm -hmm. What a mess! Mm -hmm. Oh no! Oh. Mm -hmm. Keep pressing the wrong button. A mess reminds me of Ampetuna's old yard. Beautiful and organized testament to someone's laziness. Mm -hmm. Or a vital impossibility to get rid of anything. At any rate, we should do something about this, or my dust allergies will be back. Let me think. Mm -hmm. hmm. There's only one way to clean this up. You have to meet Alvin. Mm -hmm. He's your local shipwright, and his jokes are garbage. <laughs> but he's the only one who can fix your boat. Mm -hmm. We should head to Albert's shipyard. Okay. You must be wondering how to make the ship move. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's really easy, actually. There, let me give you this key I found on the island. It'll unlock the cabin in the back. Mm -hmm. You should find a map projector in there. How do I know all this? Well, I was planning an escape, remember? Mm -hmm. And you know me. I plan things meticulously. Mm -hmm. Very meticulously. Go open up that cabin so oh. the map projector should be simple enough to use and you just have to go to Albert's ship. Alrighty. Let's get cracking. Press tab. Set sail, Captain. Okay. Ooh, so I can go sleep up there. I think. Oh, old harbor. Zoom in. Oh, this is a nice map. Oh, I like this. This is cool. So we need to go there. Enter. I don't like um, enter. <laughs> I would much rather it be something else. I wonder if I can... Interact as alien enter. Confirm inventory. Because it's E as well. Okay, well, let's, let's see. I didn't know you could press E as well. That's a cute bedroom. <laughs> That's cool. This is pretty neat. Stella. As I understand, the ship is powered by your Everlight. You see, oh, that does work on E. The tide cruises the ocean and reveals the stray spirits. Also explains why I couldn't do anything by myself. I must admit, it's quite fascinating. Hmm. Look, I know you must feel overwhelmed. Sharon, the Everdor, the Spirit Fairs, this place, this boat, me being here, it is a lot. You must be wondering what is going on. Mm -hmm. Truth be told, I don't really know either, but I'm here for you. I'll do my best to help you and try to make sense of it. Mm -hmm. 
As I said earlier, I wanted to leave by myself, but somehow I just couldn't. Now that I see you, I think I know why. I'll give you some space for now. Don't hesitate to explore the ship. We even give that fishing rod a try. This world is your oyster. The world is your oyster. Fishing rod? What fishing rod? Oh, hello. The magic fishing rod. E to reel. Ooh, I caught a fish. Oh, we are happy ride. Catch another fish quickly. Ah, I caught a boot. Okay, cool. Let's uh, get up. We are here. Albert Shipyard discovered. Mm. Now head down to Albert Shipyard and upgrade your blueprint station. It's the only way to clear this clutter. I'm curious about what it's all made of. Mm. Considering the smell, I'd say at least seven different types of dirt and dust. Okay. Did I get on this boat? Okay. I was wondering how this worked. Over here. Oh, he's a shark. <laughs> Welcome to my shipyard, young traveler. Where my prices are a customer's best friend. I'm Albert. I've been in the business of shipbuilding for ages. Should I assume you are the new spiritfarer? Well, of course you are. Anyway, I've been able to start the ship and bring it here. Well, you've been able. Gwen was right to point you towards my humble enterprise. Ah, let me see what you have here. Nice little dinghy. Funny how it looks exactly like the one I'd built some time ago and stored in my old ship. See, Sharon was unhappy about his gloomy and dank heart. Actually, he was always complaining about everything. But the customer's always right. So I built him a newer, better one. Of course, he would never abandon his previous boat. Old habits die hard. Don't worry, you can keep this one. Let's just call this alone. Let me tell you something. You know we always joke about the construction here. Don't worry, we're still working on it. Okay. Anyway, with a little bit of love, this bird will be resplendent again. The first thing you'll need is a proper blueprint table. Since it's your lucky day, I'm feeling generous. I'll offer it to you, free of charge. Mind you, it's just a bit bare bones in terms of functionality. The subsequent upgrades will come at such a small price, you'll want to buy them almost immediately. Simply direct me to an upgrade me to upgrade the ship. Okay. Ah. Beginner. Intrepid Otto. Ooh, what does this cost? I've got no money. <laughs> and a mailbox? How much a mailbox? It's a board. That's four hundred. So I need I need a lot of money. I need money. Needs. You'll be able to build and edit your buildings on your boat. What a treat! But if you really want to upgrade your boat in size and in pleasure, I'm your guy. Come back when you feel your boat is getting too crowded. Cheers. Awesome. Cool beans. Let's go. Back to the boat. Finally. Good. Albert gave you it for free. And he said he loaned the ship to you? Ominous. Hard to know what he has in mind, but it doesn't sound reassuring. Anyway, let's focus on the task at hand for now. Cleaning up the stick. You can go to your new blueprint table above your cabin and select the move option. In it, you will be able to remove any building and get back resources. Mm -hmm. Go for it. I'll wait down here. Oh, so it's that thing up there. Uh, 
There we go. Edit. View. Yeah. Ooh. Junk pile. Uh, salvage. I guess. Okay, well, that's it then. Is that all we can do? Wonderful. You did a wonderful job, Stella. And the good news is you have enough resources to add a guest house to your ship. Necessary amenity. Mm -hmm. Newly welcomed spirits such as myself will have a temporary place to relax and sleep. Well, sleep, not really. I can tell you for sure that no one will be thrilled to spend more than one night in there. Mm -hmm. But a bit sleeping on the deck. The stars are pretty, but the wood is stiff and the humidity is hard to tolerate. I'll leave you to it. Have fun. I guess we go back. Oh, there we go. Ooh. That's a veggie garden. Kitchen. Yes, that was. Um, yeah, let's put it on the front of the ship, why not? Ta-da! What else can I build? Nothing. Here we go. It's cute. Very nice. It's very nice. This guest house is very pretty. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. it has your touch. Nice work as usual. Mm -hmm. Now at last I have a place to sit down and enjoy the view. Oh wait, mm -hmm. what is going on? Something else is happening. Mm -hmm. Ah, I should have expected this. I'm actually hungry. Mm -hmm. Very hungry. You know how terrible a cook I am, but I remember you being absolutely fantastic at it. Mm -hmm. And you might have fished a few fishes already. Trouble is, I can't really eat an entire raw fish. I could try for sure, but I'll probably choke on the fishbone and never survive. Oh my god, you're already dead. <laughs> That's not how you want me to go. As absurd as this sounds, you so you should keep on using this blueprint tailor of yours and build a kitchen aboard. I'm pretty sure I've seen the plans for it in there. As well as the necessary resources. Yeah. You require a bright jelly. Mm -hmm. and there's only one way to get some. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I uh, Look, I should have told you when I first met you here. Something scares the hell out of me. Mm -hmm. Dark presence and I even... And even I cower from it. A void that swallows all, light included. It can take many forms, and for me, it was always jellyfish. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am fully aware of the irony. The bright jelly you need for the kitchen. Well, only these jellyfish can provide you, can provide it to you. So there is no other option. I'll have to face my fears. But you're here. With you, I can do it. They'll appear as a dark patch of pure fear on your map, so you can't miss it. Go, I'll take some time to prepare myself. Alrighty, so we are gonna go look for a patch of fear. I also get cranky when I'm hungry. Get angry. Okay, more of the map is open. Okay, I guess we're going to the dark patch. Bright chili.
Oh, I actually wanted to um, get this a little louder. So there's at least some nice music to listen to when we travel. Because apparently this is going to take a minute. I wonder if I'll also sleep. Because it didn't let me interact with, uh, with the bed. Oh boy, let's go see what that is. It's purple. Mm -hmm. Damn. Here they come. Remember, set your eyes on the ones with bright mm -hmm. jelly. They should be visible enough. That's it. Pop as many as you can. You'll get glimpses anyway. I will wait for you inside. It's just too hard for me to stay out yeah. here. Yeah, thank you for your help. Okay, go ahead. I believe in you. Wait, what are you doing? What am I supposed to do? on the roof. Do, can I get on the roof? Doesn't feel like I can. did it. I think we did it. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm ready. I'm really impressed. You've rocked out there. Mm -hmm. Tumbling and diving like a shooting star. Without the slightest fear nor hesitation on that. You definitely haven't lost your touch star. Mm -hmm. And you even gathered enough bright jelly to build a proper kitchen. Go for it. I'll be patiently waiting. Mm -hmm. Slowly digesting myself. Oh, that's lovely. That's just lovely. Actually, I want to catch some more fish because I didn't catch a whole lot. Just a win and a shoe. A herring. Okay, I'll catch some more. It's beautiful. Oh, I can sleep. Oh, yes, the morning. Might as well sleep. Mm -hmm. 
Eats. Is set the toggle the clock and trajectory display on and off. Bigger boot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lovely kitchen. Mm -hmm. You can now use this kitchen oven. It should be rather simple. Put any one ingredient in the oven and wait for it to be cooked. Yeah. You can even try these loose corn kernels that have been hanging around my pocket. So lovely. Can't wait to see you in your cooking glory again. You got this. You got this. But I well, you see. Mm. Ask me how, but I've met Albert already. He definitely is a shark. But his interest in all things maritime will be helpful. Mm. Such as the boat upgrades he sell at an outrageously high price. With those you'll be able to cross ominous weather barriers in the world. They look like classical mythical challenges again. Mm. A bit cliche if you ask me. How do I use the kitchen now? Well, well. Got that weird feeling again. I'm actually rather hungry. But I can't give you anything raw. And I don't know how to use the kitchen. Ah. I didn't bring up the door. That was odd. Let's see, recipes. I don't have any recipes. Let's make some. Let's cook a corn. Well, that was easy. Ooh. And smell it. Good for you. Popcorn. Let's make some fish. gonna cook everything why the hell not okay this takes a little longer the corn was like super quick I suppose I can't leave the kitchen if I'm cooking because then I'll probably burn it. I don't know if this stuff does burn. Only one way to find out, I guess. Yeah. I could eat anything. Just give me some food. Okay. Let's give us some food. Popcorn is 45 and that's 35. Well, I won't mm. die just yet. Thanks, Sala. It's better than I thought it could be. But then again, you've always been a wonder in the mm. kitchen. Don't forget, spirits don't run in sunshine and water. We need a good meal once in a while. 
It will be up to you to understand who's fond of what. Mm -hmm. As for me, I'm sure you remember I've always loved comfort food. And that I would die for a cup of coffee. But I'm not that picky. I can eat mm. anything. It is never the same thing twice. Oh boy, okay. Oh, and before I forget, here's something I was supposed to give you. I'm not sure exactly how it works. But an obol is a symbol of passage. It's a, f a fee each spirit has to pay you. Something tells me you knew that already. I didn't. Okay, let's keep on proving on this craft. As you must have seen in your blueprint table, there's a both a field and a garden blueprint. Mm. Which means you can grow in many different things and turn the ship into an adorable farm of sorts. You should add a field first in my opinion. It's going to be easier to find the resources for it around here and you can grow linen in it. Which in turn will be used to craft more things. In addition to building a field, we should buy seeds to use in it, but that will come later. I need you to visit an island close by, it's called Mostine Cove, and there's something on it we need. I'll tell you when we get there. Alrighty, let me go get my fish. Okay, so it doesn't burn. Let's cook the fish then. And then we can go to this new island. There we go. Let's get sailing. Fish should always be ready. Oh, I can build a... Let's see if I can build a garden yet. Yeah, I don't have enough bottles and logs. Because there's a field and a garden. See, I can't jump up on top of these things. Oh, I can. But I slide off the end. Okay. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Last one. I don't know if any of them will eat raw fish, so. Well, let's hope not. Blueberry. Barnacles. No smoking on the ship, Jack. Might as well kill some time and fish. We're almost there. Nice. Look at that. Mustine Cove discovered. Pretty. Hmm. We should hop on that island over there. Maybe we'll find something interesting. Let me just grab the food. I want magic mittens. She's going with this time. Interesting. Ooh, okay. Ooh, what was that? Empty bottle, medium glim bottle. Yeah, we are. What a majestic tree. Well, you can cut it down. Yes, it's fine, I promise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's the best way to get the wood you need, actually. Don't worry, they'll regrow over time. Another interesting fact about the Everlight. Okay, you say so. Oh, cute. Timber. Well done. Congratulations. For well, you have become Death, the destroyer of worlds. Oh my. Jokes aside, that's how you do it. You go ahead cutting down more trees, and we can go back on the boat and build the fields with those maple logs. 
I'll be next to the rock. Okay, goodbye. Ooh, berries. Berries. Yeah, let's go loot. <laughs> loot, loot. I like loot. So if you play co-op, one of you is the cat and the other one is Stella. They're quite cute. Logs. Oh dear. I like how the cat doesn't touch the water uh, in the water. Hold E as long as possible to break a mining load. Oh, I see. swim <laughs> it swims on the ball that's hilarious but I do like that we can swim well that seems to be it for this island let's get it back to the She's happy. Thank you for the tree. Let's go. Thank you. Okay, it's oh, we need to build. It's built. So where the heck are we going to put this? Okay. That looks better. I'll do the garden and stuff up here. When we do the garden, I'll build the garden next to it if I can. Or underneath it, something. Okay. A field, yes indeed. Didn't know we could build an old square. Mm. Ah, it's better looking than I thought. There's a little je ne sais quoi to it. Simple but mm. elegant. Now all you have to do is plant field seeds in there. Seeds can grow only in their respective places. The garden seeds won't grow in the field, so don't bother trying. Mm. But you know me, I would kill a plastic cactus, so don't take my word on this. <laughs> anyway, there's only one place where we could possibly find what we need. Theodore specializes in seeds. Mm -hmm. He has set up a shop in the Hummingburg, the busiest town of the area. Theodore and his brothers are the founders of Raccoon Inc., a shady retail franchise with very loose moral values. Yes, this world has a serious problems of dubious business practices. Since I don't want you to get swindled, I'll come with you and do most of the talking. I've run into this cheeky little raccoon once, and his dishonesty was blatant. Let's head to a hummingbird then. Okay. We shall head to a hummingbird then. Oh, that's how I get up there to catch the pretty ones. Oh, ooh, that's why. Ugh. Okay, well, let's sail and sleep. Yeah. Oh, there's more, um... Seeds, treasures, woods and orcs. Why don't I go there first? Yeah, I want to go there first. Why would I want to... buy? While we're sailing. Mm. 
I said, even says there, ring the bell. Wakey wakey. We're not even halfway. Gee. Stella. Oh. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm delighted that you're here with me. But I'm not surprised one bit. It adds mm -hmm. up. You here taking care of me in my final hours. Always cared so damn much about us. Always protected those you found vulnerable. Even pedantic snobs like me. Remember the day my father yelled at the cat? We just got out of elementary school. Ooh, you were wearing those blue sneakers with glittery tags. Oh, what the hell? And there you were yelling back at my father like you were on a mission. Father turned red and smashed the purple Delano rays. It was red. Uh, okay, hold on a second. We we bumped something. We bumped into something. What the heck do I do here? Necklace and limestone. Alrighty. Well, this is fun. Well, okay, well, let's set sail to um, the island that she wanted to go to. I think we got everything we needed here. We can go and do some jellies quickly on our way to that island. Might as well. I think we might need some. Get the jellies. Better hide. We're gonna go get some jellies. I can just go up and down this now. Get them jellies. I love that. <laughs> Animation is so cool. Have I got seeds now? speak to her again yeah we are again the jellyfish are stealing all the light they've stolen all the hope for me I've, i'll never get used to it and a part of me makes me think it's all my fault all right you can do your thing again are you up for it don't be scared stella they'll be coming straight for us okay well not for you for me let's go jellies come at me Jelly. That's 
monster jelly. I like these money jellies. No. Oh no, I missed that jelly, but I'm not gonna miss this jelly. No. Then I miss all the jellies, damn it. I really want a ladder that's a little bit higher. Oh, well, well, well. Go to the next destination. That is kind of hard. You don't have a lot of space to move. But it's cool. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Almost there. We have arrived. Hummingbird discovered. But that is where I'm going to leave it this episode. Mm -hmm. Alright. Thank you guys for uh, watching. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like the content, subscribe if you haven't already and uh, switch on that notification bell if you want to know when I go live or when I post another video and I uh, also have a discord if you want to join. I do post a lot of stuff in discord. But yeah, I hope you have a wonderful evening, afternoon or morning wherever you are and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!